Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today's tutorial will be number 44. In today's tutorial we're going to revisit our little heads up display and we're going to rework the health bar. So we're going to only have two now. One for the player and then on the opposite side one for the mob that we have targeted. Now before we used to have a health bar associated with each mob. We don't want that anymore because we don't want to have you know like a hundred different health bars all stacked up that have to worry about you know which one's going to be activated which ones are deactivated let's just make one and we'll send it the information to display when we have something targeted now to achieve this we're going to be sending messages from one object to another basically telling it what it has to do so let's go ahead and open up unity i'm going to have mono development open as well and then let's head on over to the unity wiki And there's a script there called C Sharp Messenger Extended. We're going to be using this one here. I'll paste the link. If you can't see it, I'll paste it in the little doobly-doo down below. So it gives a description, shows us basically how to use it. But I'm going to be going over that anyway. Now there's two scripts in here we're going to want. So we're going to want to create one called Callback CS. So I'm just going to go into Unity. I'm going to switch back to my level one. Now under scripts, I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm just going to call it messenger. Extended. Which is, I believe, what it was called. The, the little library we're going to include. C sharp messenger extended. That's fine. That's what I'll name it. Then I'm going to create a new C Sharp script inside of there. And it's going to be called callback no.cs. I'll double click that to open it up in mono development. Ah, I've just recently installed the new version of Unity 3, which is the final build one. It's looking pretty good, but. And because of that, it comes with mono development built into its package. So where I used to have mono development installed, it no longer exists. So I actually have to reassign where mono development is if I want to keep using it, which of course I do. So I'm going to browse. It's under my applications. Scroll down to the bottom. There's my Unity 3 installation. And there's mono development. Now I assume if they keep this for the actual final build, uh, you'll have to do this as well if you're using modern development. So I'll just hit OK. Just be able to close that and double click to open now. And there we go. So again, I'll rename my class. I'm going to go back to Firefox. Scroll down to the callbacks. And I'm just going to take it, copy the whole thing, and paste it in. We'll go to Unity. There should be no errors. All right. Now I'm going to go back to Firefox. I'm going to grab the Messenger CS class. So I'm just going to copy the name to make sure I don't type it wrong. Go back into Unity, create another C Sharp script. Rename it, Messenger. It looks like I got a space in the front. I had a couple. We'll delete those spaces. I'll save it. Double click it to open it up in Mono Development. And we'll paste it. So let's go back to Firefox again. And this one's a little bit longer. So I'm just going to hold down the right mouse button and keep scrolling down. Make sure you select everything and copy back into mono development. Just take everything and paste. 
Now here I am actually pasting in the class name because I've just gotten so used to that workflow from you know create my class in Unity, come back into model development, rename the class. And since we're cutting and pasting everything in, we didn't actually have to do that. But that's okay, it's done. So I'll save it, go back to Unity, make sure there's no errors popping up. Everything looks good. So let's go ahead and create another folder. And I'm going to call this, oops, I don't want it in my CS Messenger extended folder. I want it in my scripts folder. And I'm just going to call this HUD scripts or HUD classes. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what you call it. Whatever's easier for you. Then I'm going to right click. I'm going to create another C sharp script. And I'm going to call this one Vitals Bar. Or just Vital Bar. Double click it to open up Mono Development. And here I do have to rename it. So vital, not bad, bar. Okay. So we don't actually need to do anything in either one of these scripts. Uh, they don't look to be too heavily documented as far as the functions go. Oh, and it should be noted that there are quite a few different messenger systems that are, have been built for Unity or notification centers as this one points out. I'm just using this one because it's really easy. Most of them are pretty easy to understand, but this was just the first one I noticed. Yeah, so it's not very well documented, but you should be able to read most of it with, with what we've learned so far. Oh, look at me now. <laughs> but I'm going to close both these down. We don't need to look at them. And while we're in this script, Let's create two public methods. Uh, one's going to be on enable and one is going to be on disable. So public void on enable and then public void on disable. Now these methods are going to be called by other game objects to enable our vitals bar and to also disable when we don't need it. So for instance, when there, we have a mob targeted, we want to enable its vitals bar. And when we have a mob deselected, we want to disable it. I'm actually going to add the commenting at the top now while we're in here. Uh, vital bar. CS. The date is September. I just can't type today. 17th, 2010. The author. And a brief description. This class is responsible for displaying uh, one of the vitals of a player or a mob. Okay, I always like to leave a space. So this method is called when the game object is enabled. And this method is called when the game object is disabled. That looks like we're already over eight minutes in this one, so I'm going to go on to the next one to continue with the vitals bar, because I don't want to get halfway through and then have to do a part two just to finish the vital bar off. I want to try to get you know a script done per, per tutorial now. It should be a little bit easier for it to follow along. Uh, so with that said, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we'll finish off our vital bar script.